meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back to KSAN News. We've got some strong and severe storms to talk about here in the Concha Valley, so let's get to it. Right now in San Angelo, it's 71 degrees. We've got a thunderstorm with winds out of the north-northeast at 20 miles per hour, and that's just updated. That thunderstorm has moved out of Tomagrin County. Look at that storm there. It's just looking over downtown San Angelo right now. Here's our weather headlines. We've got severe storms tonight, a pleasant Easter Sunday, turning cold Monday thanks to the Easter Bunny, and a calm week ahead for us as we go into next week. Here's that severe thunderstorm warning. This one is going to expire here in about five minutes. This one was for the San Angelo area. This storm has now moved out of the San Angelo area. It's over here towards very best. This is moving off to the east at 25 miles per hour. So this storm is going to be warned for counties to our east here. And so as we zoom out here, we do have a tornado watch. That means conditions are favorable for a storm or two to produce a tornado. That's not a guarantee that we'll see a tornado, but that's just a heads up that we might see a tornado here in the Concho Valley. The county's in yellow there. That's where that tornado watch continues until 10 o'clock tonight. There may even additionally be another one for later tomorrow morning, but we've got more storms firing up in Erie County coming into Crockett County, or Tom Green County, excuse me, and we'll watch those storms closely as they track off to the east for us. Here's the big setup here. What's driving all of this severe weather? Well, We've got a dry line set up to our west, and that is giving the lift to these thunderstorms here across portions of West Texas and then eventually into East Texas. So let's talk about the severe thunderstorm outlook for today. This is an enhanced risk. This is a three out of five category for us here across the Concho Valley. Lesser risk the further west you go here in the Concho Valley. And our main threats with this system mainly going to be large hail, damaging winds and possible tornadoes with these storms as we go through the evening and overnight hours here in the Concho Valley. Here's how those threats stack up for us. We'll see large hell winds being our primary threats, and then a tornado could be possible with some of the storms there. Lightning will be frequent for us, and flooding will mainly be ponding on the roadways as we go through the overnight hours. Let's time this out on our high-res future cast as we go to the 7.30 hour. Showers and thunderstorms moving through Tom Green County here. Temperatures still very warm for us. And as we go into early Sunday morning, some showers and thunderstorms possible for our southern counties at 1.30 in the morning. And then as we go to 4 a.m. on Sunday, there could be more showers and thunderstorms for Robert Lee and San Angelo once again as we go into the early morning hours. Sunday, Easter Sunday, looking pretty nice unfortunately because of current situations we're not going to be able to do much but otherwise it'll be a nice day maybe hide some eggs for the kids in the backyard looking pretty nice for our Easter Sunday here's how we plan our Sunday out here 58 degrees at 8 a.m. 72 by 12 and then 81 by 4 o'clock plenty of sunshine for us as we go through Easter Sunday our extended for future cast here that storm system that's moving through right now going to move off to our east dangerous severe weather for the east southeastern United States but as we go into Monday clearing conditions and it's going to be much of the same old same old cooling down for us as well as we go into the middle and through towards the end of next week things will start to warm up for us here and as as we take a look at conditions for tonight, we'll get down to about 56 degrees with severe thunderstorms possible for us. For our Sunday, we'll get up to about 82, mostly sunny conditions, very pleasant for our Easter Sunday. And then the next five days here in the Concho Valley, they look like this with severe storms early Sunday morning. That's a 50% chance as we go into the early hours on Sunday morning, but the rest of the seven day cooling down and clearing out for us as we go into the next seven days. We'll be right back on K7.